Secret Book. Number 20. Tarsier. Each of this little primate's eyeballs is as big as its brain. They are very good at leaping and climbing. And once they have attached themselves to a tree can be hard to remove. Number 19. Mud Skipper. Mud skippers are fish that propel themselves across land using their fins. They live in mud flats and, despite being fish, spend most of their time out of the water. Number 18. Proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys live in Borneo and are one of the largest species of monkey native to Asia. They use their incredible noses to attract mates. Number 17. Dumbo octopus. Nicknamed Dumbo, this octopus's flappy ears allow it to float along above the bottom of the ocean looking for food. Number 16. Geoduck. Officially known as Panopia generosa, geoducks are large saltwater clams that look a bit pornographic. They grow up to a meter long and on t have many predators apart from human. Number 15. Bald Wakari. For the bald Wakari monkey a bright red face is a considered a sign of good health and helps other Wakaris choose a mate. These primates tend to live near the water in Brazil and Peru. Number 14. Narwhal. Like unicorns of the sea, but they actually exist. Narwhals have nerves in their magnificent looking tusk, probably to help them sense their environment better. Number 13, Cape Rain Frog. It's a rock with arms, essentially, which is probably why it looks so glum. The Cape Rain Frog lives in South Africa where it's equally at home in farmland and urban areas. Number 12, Giraffe Weevil. Just look at that neck. Male giraffe weevils have necks that are two to three times longer than females, and use them to fight off other males. Number 11. Axolotl. The cutest little lake dweller is sadly almost extinct in the wild. Axolotls are salamanders that unusually never undergo metamorphosis and remain young their whole life. Number 10. Basket Star. Basket stars fan their arms out and use tiny microscopic hooks to capture food before curling their arms around it and pulling it towards their mouth. They tend to catch prey at night but wait until daytime to actually feed on it, which somehow makes it all the more terrifying. Number 9. Mantis Shrimp. Mantis shrimp have 12 color receptors in their eyes, and they can punch with an acceleration of 80 km per hour. So let's not mention their flamboyant appearance to their face. Number 8. Christmas tree worm. These worms look a bit like Christmas trees, but they live on tropical coral reefs around the world. Each worm is about one and a half inches long and has two fir tree-like protrusions, because one is clearly not enough. Number 7. Sega. A very unique looking antelope, the Sega is known for its distinctive nose that protrudes down over its mouth. It has been known for its efficiency at reproducing in spite of human encroachment upon its habitat although in recent years it has become more endangered. Number 6. Long-Eared Jirboa. Resembling mice, not much is known about these small jumping rodents. Their habitat consists mostly of northern China and Mongolia and they usually come out only at night. Number 5. Pigbutt Worm. It's a worm and it looks like a pig's butt. They live 3,000 feet below the ocean surface and are about the size of a marble. Number 4. Hairy Frogfish. Also known as an anglerfish, this hairy hunter's dorsal spine is topped with a fleshy lure that it moves back and forth through the water to mimic the behavior of a marine worm. Number 3. Slender Loris. Inhabiting the jungles of Sri Lanka, this nocturnal creature has huge round eyes that allow it to hunt for insects at night. They are slowly going extinct, however, as they are killed for their supposed magical properties by natives and poachers alike. Number 2. I.I. Found in Madagascar the I.I. is the world's largest nocturnal primate. Often noted for its unique foraging techniques, it taps on trees until it finds larvae, gnaws a hole in the wood, and inserts its middle finger to pull them out. Number 1. Sphinx Cat. This curious breed is known for its lack of hair and highly extroverted behavior care must be taken to ensure that they do not stay outdoors for too long because they are susceptible to both sunburn and hypothermia, 